If your serratus anterior isn't functioning properly, you could suffer from problems like shoulder impingement, rotator cuff tendonitis and tears, bursitis, and even poor posture. In this video, we're gonna go through the anatomy of the serratus anterior, how to get it firing properly, and three of my top exercises to strengthen it. Hey, it's Coach E from Precision Movement, and welcome to another one of our YouTube videos where we're trying to help you move freely and without pain. And today we're gonna to talk about the serratus anterior muscle, which is a shoulder muscle, and it's really important for keeping those shoulders healthy, preventing impingement, rotator cuff tendonitis and tears, bursitis, and of course, overall good function and strength of the shoulders. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you do that, hit the bell for notifications, and you'll get all of our latest videos. So let's start off with the anatomy and the function. Then we're gonna to get to some research and then three of my favorite exercises for getting this muscle working properly. Serratus anterior runs from the medial border of the scapula, also known as the shoulder blade. And I'm gonna use my hand sometimes to demonstrate some movements of the scapula. Runs right from here and inserts into the ribs inserts right into the first rib, second rib, third rib, fourth rib, fifth rib, sixth rib, seventh rib, eighth rib, and ninth rib, right down here. So you can see it just in between the pecs and the lats if you're fairly lean. So what does it do? Number one, the function that most people know about is protraction. So protraction is the scapula moving forward, wrapping around the rib cage that way. Number two, another less commonly known function, but still fairly commonly known, is upward rotation. So when the arm moves up, the scapula rotates like that. This is really important because if the scapula doesn't rotate like this properly, then you could pinch structures in between the head of the humerus, it's the upper arm bone, and the scapula. So if it's just stuck here, it's not moving, and you're lifting your arms up overhead or doing an overhead press exercise, you're gonna pinch the bursa, the tendon in here, the rotator cuff tendon in here. But when you upwardly rotate, you maintain good space and you don't pinch those tissues. You avoid inflammation, pain, and damage. So that's the second function, and that one's fairly well known. The third function that is perhaps the most important function of the serratus anterior is known as posterior tilt. Posterior tilt, if you can imagine, this is my hand, let's say there's a cup of water on here. Posterior tilt is dumping the water back posteriorly. So posterior tilt, you dump the water behind the body. Anterior tilt, you dump the water in front of the body. So posterior tilt is essentially sucking this bottom edge of the scapula, bottom half of the scapula, bottom third, into the rib cage. Now I found some really interesting research to illustrate just how important posterior tilt is. The study's called Effects of Intended Scapular Posterior Tilt Motion on Trapezius Muscle EMG Activity. And this study investigated the effect of the intended scapular posterior tilt on the EMG of trapezius muscles during the prone shoulder horizontal abduction exercise. And this exercise is when you're lying prone face down on a table, or I'm showing this on a ball, and you're lifting your arms up in a T motion. In this study, the researchers found increased lower trap muscle activity with the intended scapular posterior tilt during the exercise. And the scapular posterior tilt angle was higher when applying the intended scapular posterior tilt. This is an important point from the paper. Previous studies applied the intended neutral scapular position and scapular adduction and depression motion, which is scapula down and back or shoulders down and back to increase lower trap muscle activation during the same exercise, but found that the lower trap muscle activity did not significantly increase. Therefore, we presume that the intended scapular motion used in the previous studies was insufficient to facilitate greater lower trap muscle activation. This is a key point because it illustrates clearly that how you think about and how you do an exercise makes a difference. That's why we are so exact when it comes to cueing and teaching exercises, hence the name precision movement. The study also talked about how increased upper trap and lower trap ratios are found in people with shoulder injuries. They note that higher upper trap muscle activity produces excessive scapular anterior tilt with 
elevation of the clavicles, the collarbones, leading to scapular dyskinesia, which can be related to shoulder injuries. The authors conclude that our findings indicate that the intended scapular posterior tilt motion enhances lower trap muscle activity while reducing the upper trap lower trap ratio during the prone T exercise. So there you have another example of how important it is to properly cue an exercise and how important the lower trap muscle is to healthy shoulders. And the researchers didn't study activity of the serratus anterior muscle, I assume because it's kind of hard to get the EMG electrodes on there and get an accurate reading. But I can assure you that when you're doing posterior tilt of the scapula, the serratus anterior is firing. And this is a cue that we teach all the time in so many of the shoulder exercises that we have on YouTube and in our Rom Coach app. So now let's get to three of my favorite exercises to wake the serratus anterior up and to strengthen it in its various functions. The first exercise is one of our unique dissociation techniques designed to activate the serratus anterior. Start off by rounding the shoulders and retracting the scapula. But when you retract the scapula, think of posterior tilt, sucking that bottom third of the scapula into the rib cage. Do that a few times to warm up, maintain neutral spine, and then we're gonna posteriorly tilt the scapula as we reach our arms back into shoulder extension. The key focus on this in every exercise is posteriorly tilting the scapula. Hold it at the end range, keep trying to lift the arms up, this is gonna wake that serratus anterior muscle up. Hold it for about five to 10 seconds, breathe naturally, and then you release. Again, you posteriorly tilt the scapula as you extend the shoulders and reach those hands back. Maintain a neutral spine, don't go into hyperextension of the spine. And when you're done, relax. Do anywhere from three to five reps, holding for five to 10 seconds. This will wake up your serratus anterior. Next, we're gonna go through the shoulder rotation robot. For this technique, you're gonna be on the wall, but when you're there, make sure posterior tilt of the scapula and slight retraction and depression. Just a little bit there, but focus on posterior tilt. You're gonna abduct your shoulders to about 30 degrees, one arm up, one arm down, and then you're gonna make a fist and drive one arm into the wall, up and one arm down, and then under control, switch positions. Keep trying to drive the hands toward the wall, activating those rotator muscles while maintaining stable scapula with the posterior tilt. Breathe when you're holding. Keep trying to drive the fists to the wall. The shoulders don't raise or lower. And we're activating the rotators and keeping the scapula stable and working the serratus anterior. Perform the robot for two to three sets four to six reps holding for five to 10 seconds. The last exercise we're gonna do is the serratus floor press, and this works posterior tilt with the upward rotation and protraction. So we're getting all the functions of the serratus anterior working. Start off in the four point position, and then walk your hands about six to eight inches in front of your body. Lift your knees up off the ground, and then press from the shoulders, from the scapula, up so your spine is flexed. Hold it and keep activating for about five seconds while you're breathing and then bring it back down. Shoulders are down and back, retracted, spine is extended and then press up and away from the floor. The spine flexes and you keep activating the scapula, trying to upwardly rotate the scapula, keep protracting the scapula and bring it back down. Again, pressing up and away from the floor the knees shouldn't really move much. Your spine is flexed and you're activating those scapular muscles to upwardly rotate, posteriorly tilt and protract the scapula. Do this for two sets, four to six reps, holding for five seconds. So now you know what the serratus anterior is all about, its anatomy, its functions, and three exercises to strengthen it for its various functions. This knowledge will help to keep your shoulders healthy for the long term so you can do the active things you love. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more like it and give it a thumbs up.
And if you have shoulder pain, check out this video where we talk about another exercise to get the lower traps stronger and shut off the upper traps. Or this video where we go in depth into rotator cuff tendonitis and make sure you download our ROM Coach app where we've got a routine called Awaken the Serratus with these exercises and more. Thanks for watching and keep moving.